السلام علیکم دس از ایکچولی ایچ پی ایل سی فارم اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ول لرن ہاؤ دا پرابلم از ریزالو ان دس ایچ پی ایل سی فارم ان دس ایچ پی ایل سی فارم وی ہیو اے پرابلم آف لیکیج فرام دا باڈی اینڈ دا ڈرین آف دا باڈی فرام دا ڈرین آف دا باڈی لیکوڈ از کمنگ آؤٹ وائل پمپنگ ناؤ ٹو ریزالو دس پرابلم وی ول سی Uh, we will open the cover of this HPLC pump how we can open the pump one we have the different screws of this body like uh, this point and on this point we have a screw on this side and the other side is also two screws are there we will open these screws first and then open the cover now this is the last screw we will open it now after opening the all few screws we will open the cover we will uncover the hplc pump now this is the inside of the pump we can see all the parts inside the pump now we will see the indications of the leakages from the tubing different parts of the tubing these are the actually transducer and from this transducer we will check from where the leakage is coming we can see here this point is again the terminal point from where the tubing is going out and the leak is leakage is coming outside from this drain, drain point now we have found the indications of the leakage you can see here the some stains over there and this indicates that some leakage is here we can see the stains of the leakage it means that during the running of this pump there are some places from where the leakage is coming now we will start the pump while connecting the solvent and then we'll see how the leakage is appeared now i will explain different parts of this pump Uh, this is actually uh, injector manual injector and this is transducer and this is motherboard of this hplc pump this is crankshaft and motor this is stepper motor basically and this is transformer which is providing the power supply to this motherboard and, and this is very important part of this hplc pump which is exhaust fan exhaust fan exhaust the hot air produced inside the hplc pump body this is very important part of this hplc pump this is the actually transducer by which the sensor pressure sensor and uh, by this part of this hplc pump we can monitor the pressure built up in the lines now we attach this mobile phase through this tubing with the hplc and now we have attached this mobile phase at this point these two heads of this pump are running we will start at the pump by pressing this start button now i have started at the rate of 2 ml per minute and this is drain valve we have primed this hplc and now hplc is running you can see here the running of the hplc crankshaft here now you can see on the screen that uh, flow rate has been set at 2 ml per minute and here you can see 13.2 mega pascal pressure is maintained pressure and we have limit of 0 to 42 mega pascal now pump is started 
running mode and you can see here the flow coming out from this end of this column here you can see flow is coming and but the problem is still there as I already have said that here you can see the leakage coming outside from this end here you can see this is the place from where liquid is coming out actually this is drain pipe and this is drain pipe of uh, the body if somewhere leakage appears in the body inside the body then the extra liquid coming out from this point now I show you where the leakage is as I, I have earlier told you that there's leakage at this point and here you can see the wet part of this pump shows that there is some leakage on this point and it is coming out of from this drain pipe now we will rectify this problem now you can see the flow rate has been set at 2 ml per minute and pump is in the running mode you can see here and pressure back pressure is 11.9 mpa but the limit is 0 to 42 or within this limit but it should be more than 12 because because of the leakage somewhere in, inside the pump uh, this pressure is low and uh, you now we see we can see the point of drain uh, is there any leakage from that part now we see. please have a look at this point you can see leakage from this point here it's obviously you can see the point of leakage actually this is the drain pipe of the body if there is some leakage inside the body the extra liquid comes out from this point you can see clearly coming out the liquid actually this is the leakage inside somewhere now you can see the inside of the body you can see the leakage the traces of the leakage inside this part of the leakage and uh, uh, now we will see why the leakage is coming now you can see we have unscrewed this part and it is now separated from this part and this block aluminum block is connected with the plastic tube on the back side and this plastic tube is coming from this stainless steel body and this stainless steel body is connected with the headset we all know that this headset uh, has two plungers and two seals two plunger seals are connected with uh, this headset and the only reason of uh, drainage only reason of leakage is the uh, deterioration of the plunger seals the only uh, remedy of this leakage is the replacement of uh, the plunger seals now we will open this headset and uh, see the what is the condition of the plunger seals so that we will be able to replace the plunger seal after opening this headset thank you. now we will check what are the part of the hlc pumps on the plunger head side this is the plunger heads and there, there are two plunger heads in this uh, hlc pump and two plungers and two plunger seals on each plunger head we can see here that this is the outlet check valve and the on the lower side this is inlet check valve each in, inlet check valve each headset have the one inlet inlet check valve and the one in the outlet check valve we will open through allen keys this head and the plunger seal and plungers are open for the replacement of plunger seals and that plunger seal when we will replace the plunger seal 
we can easily remove this uh, problem of leakage because this leakage is normally due to the uh, deterioration of the plunger seal after five years or seven years. This is basically maintenance part of this uh, HPLC pump. Now uh, we start opening the plunger heads. First of all, we will remove this small lot nut from here by using the spanner and this from the inlet check well. This small nut we will remove first. Now I have removed these two, this from the outer check well and the inlet check well. Then we will, we will use this Allen key to remove these two screws. This is a little bit tighter. Now we will open these by using this Allen key. Uh, be careful while unscrewing this, these Allen keys because it should be balanced and uh, one by one both sides lose the Allen keys on both sides side by side like this then this side again and then this side otherwise there's a chance to break up the plunger plunger is usually made up of the quartz no no this is done and the second screw Now we have removed this uh, nut from the outlet check well and the inlet check well. Now this is free. We can remove easily from this head. Easily we can remove this slowly, keeping it straight. Now this is out. Here you can see this is plunger seal on black black side of the plunger seal and this part is called plunger. This is made up of quartz usually. And this is plunger seal. We will replace this plunger seal and the problem will be resolved. Now we try to remove this plunger seal. This is a little bit harder, but by revolving, we can remove easily this plunger seal. This is plunger seal. And uh, it is uh, damaged now and we will replace this plunger seal with the new one and uh, uh, this problem of leakage uh, will be resolved.